Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, I'm Chad Morgan, and the CW does not have a very good reputation these days. We often use it as a synonym for poorly written and woke content, especially over the last few years. But in recent reports, CW has not been profitable since 2005, and that is with a massive load of shows that they've been making and a lot of deals that they've made with other companies buying IPs, and it's just really impressive how poorly managed the CW has been for years. But recently, CW was acquired by the Nexstar company and for 75% of its size, and it was basically given away for free just so Nexstar would take on their massive, massive debt. And not a whole lot has changed at the CW since the Next Star's acquisition. That is until now. There are announcements about their plans going forward and the original content, which will be canceled at the CW, which may not be replaced by anything better. But at least these poorly written woke shows have seen their time in the light and are fast fading away. But we have this article here from Variety, which reports CW's carryover programming from Paramount Warner Brothers Discovery will be minimal by 2023 through to the 2024 season says the next star CEFO. Now, this deal that they're talking about with Paramount and Warner Brothers, they had deals for different IPs to adapt certain properties, the most notable of which is the Arrowverse for Warner Brothers. And it looks like a lot of those shows will not be carrying over and next star will be focusing on ips that they actually own the rights to but continuing over the course of the next year we're really working to develop our own slate which will then come online in the 2023 through 24 broadcast season we will have some carryover commitment for the cbs and the warner brothers discovery programming in that year but it's minimal and that point so yeah they're focusing on things that they own so that they don't have to pay as much money in these contracts to facilitate the rights and that'll save them a little bit of money supposedly so this is a really good idea i hope that they focus on the quality of content not the wokeness of content as the previous cw shows have been and not to say that the wokeness has been the only problem at the cw even prior to the woke invention at the cw they have a reputation of being poorly written sappy teenage dramas that aren't of any actual quality so this problem far predated wokeness but it really hit its stride during the woke era after 2016 so hopefully next star will be focusing on hey let's make some well-written content so we actually make money and that's such a strange idea in modern hollywood but hopefully this will turn out well for them similar to what supposedly Zazoff and Gunn are focusing on for the DCEU and I wonder how this relation will work between them because the Arrowverse seems like it's dead so it probably won't be connecting to the future of the DCEU with Zazoff and Gunn but continuing Warner Brothers and Paramount are not precluded from selling us programming it's just going to have to be on a financial deal that we like and there may be a couple of shows that distinguish themselves that we want to hold over into next year so a lot of them haven't been firmly said they're canceled but it's pretty minimal so a a lot of these shows that they have in deals with Paramount and Warner Brothers are on the chopping block. It'd be easy to guess which ones are doing better than the others and see which ones they're choosing on a financial basis. But they're very much not saying, hey, we're cutting all ties with external companies, external studios. They're not saying that at all. It's just they need to minimize things. They need to focus on making a profit because they never have, not since 2005. So this is a good thing, in my opinion, for the CW and for the fans of their content because hopefully this will show that their content will improve and a lot of these shows that they're canceling or considering canceling for minimalist sake aren't very good now when we talk about these shows that are getting canceled or maybe canceled the tv insider put together a little bit better than variety does so according to tv insider it's been previously reported since next star acquired 75 percent of ownership basically given it to acquire their debt of the cw that freshman series walker and apprentice and the winchesters will not be receiving additional episode orders for their first season now i initially believe that the winchesters was just a shortened season it's only 13 episodes long but it turns out it was only ordered for half a season so there was initially supposed to be a 22 episode or a normal length season for the winchesters so it's going to end on a cliffhanger now i really really didn't like the first two episodes of the winchesters i only reviewed this first one it breaks canon it's sappy i really don't like it it is as cw as cw gets it doesn't stand apart like supernatural previously did with those great characters that really carried that series walker independence i, I checked out the initial season of walker with jared padalecki and it really didn't latch on to me there are a few woke moments i just didn't latch onto the story i wasn't particularly invested so a prequel definitely did not appeal to me in any way shape or form but it looks like they're not even going to be able to finish their seasons their first seasons that's not good 
two prequels. I'm sick of prequels, sequels, reboots, remakes. Just make original content. And these two prequels seem to be the first on the chopping block, not even finishing their debut seasons. And that's really honestly pretty sad. Now, I do feel bad for Jensen Ackles. He is a great actor. Turns out he may not be a great writer or showrunner, though, because the Winchesters is not very good at all. But he is you know, good at relating to fans, talking to people. He has better fan relations than most, and he's a very, very talented actor. So I do feel bad that his debut series as a showrunner is not even finishing its first season. But then again, it's the quality of the content that determines continuation, and the Winchesters just isn't at that quality, and it seems like Nexstar agrees with that. Both are spinoffs of established CW hits, Walker and Supernatural, yep. And after the 2022 through 2023 season, it sounds likely that most of the shows that haven't had final seasons announced those two, five returning for this year, won't be back. And so, yeah, that was a quite a bit of a mouthful, but it looks like any season, any show that hasn't had an announced final season will not be continuing. Like The Flash and Nancy Do and Riverdale were already announced for their final seasons, but shows like Superman and Lois, All-American, All-American Homecoming, and Kung Fu, and the mid-season of Gotham Knights will not be continuing. That It looks like they will be canceled as well. Now, Superman and Lois, I enjoyed the first season, Second season, I just could not care enough about to really get invested in. So I, I really don't care about that one even. So that's a lot of content that they're scrapping in this deal. I, I also really enjoyed The Flash initially in the first three seasons, but we're on nine. And it's the final season, so it looks like they're going to get their send off that, you know, they kind of earned with those first three seasons, just finish it, but finish it a lot earlier than this, but it looks like they're going to be wrapping up and this next season that they're talking about, but will not be going forward because they're already over. So that's just a lot of interesting stuff that's actually happening to their current content. And those are the ones that they have deals with like Paramount and CW and the Warner Brothers Discovery. A lot of interesting things happening to those shows. But finally, as Nexstar previously laid out, Sook again indicated the TV station group is looking to shift the CW to a mix of scripted and unscripted content for a broader audience. Now, normally in modern day Hollywood, the term broader audience has become a dirty phrase, meaning wokeness or something like that. But in this context, it's merely saying, hey, we haven't made money from our, our target audience. Let's broaden our target audience to be inclusive of everybody possible. And that isn't restricted to race, gender, or anything like that. Just like, hey, we want content that anybody can enjoy, that's well-written, that can attract to anybody. So in this case, broader audience is actually a good thing in my opinion. The company hopes to make the CW profitable by 2025. That'll make it nearly 20 years where this channel was not profitable whatsoever. So a lot of interesting stuff. Hopefully this signals the end of the woke in CW. I wouldn't hold my breath on that, but at least these shows are getting canceled because they're not of any quality and they don't really get the views to justify their existence. And I just really look forward to seeing what the future of the CW holds with Nexstar. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.